everybody. Welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes again. It's Jen. I'm back. I'm going to show you today how to make Nemo from Finding Nemo or Finding Dory because they're always finding things. And he's gum paste. He's cute. And if you like it, please like and subscribe. So here we go. All right. Start out with your orange gum paste. You're going to make him a, basically he's a start with a teardrop, a big, thick, tear, a tall teardrop. Um, press into the sides at the top, but don't make it go too far down to the ground, you know, so make sure he's got some height to his tail end using the round ball pressing tool thing I've got there. Press in, lift up, and those are going to come the eye sockets and kind of his, I guess, eyebrows, if fish have eyebrows type of a thing. I'm kind of pointing off a little bit to the front and pinching off to try to give him a little bit more of a cheek bones kind of thing because he's got big happy cheeks using that circle cutter I'm just giving him a happy face because he's happy they found him so life is good using my little pressy tool I'm just kind of accenting it giving them a little more happiness a little more cheekbone kind of look a little chubby cheeks he's a little happy fish and there you go this is kind of a big jump I'm sorry about that I don't know what happened to the footage I like my computer ate it or something I don't know but all I did was roll out white nice and thin, cut out two stripes that I wrapped around his body near his head and near his tail. Fill in the eyes with white. Don't make them too bulgy. And a little bit of the same orange to do the irises. All right, so you can handle that. This orange wedge is going to become his tail. Uh, it is maybe a quarter of an inch thick. And you want the height of the tail to be about the same height of his body. His tail comes like straight out of his body. Remember I said before, don't like tapered down in the end where his tail would be. Make sure it has height, that's why. So you flatten it off on the top and the bottom and leave the end rounded off. And all of his fins are going to be um, outlined on the ends with black and then white. So that's what I'm doing here, a little bit of black, using water to connect everything. There's the water, because I kind of forgot to do it first and press it all into place. And the black and the white don't go around his entire fins. They mainly go around the end of his fin, like the outer edge of his fins. So you'll see that in the other fins as well. So there's the white I was talking about. Same idea. Roll it out nice and thin. Cut a strip. Try to make it the same thickness as the fin and the black stripe. And then just stick it into place. Now we're going to add the details to his fin, all the little ribbing and everything to make it more fish looking. Um, that circle, that little crescent thing shape I did, it's in his tail, so I just put it there. I'm using my knife to fill in the, the ribs, I guess. I don't know what you call them. The veins? I don't know. But what you do to the one side, you got to do the other. So flip your fin over and do the same thing on the other side. And use a little bit of water connected to his butt, but don't worry about it being like a super tight hole because here we are. We're going to add another stripe that goes over the seam. So that will help anchor the two pieces together. It's just another piece of white. Same idea as the other two stripes. Just place it over, press it down into shape, and you've got it. Now I took black. I rolled it out really thin here. And I'm cutting very long, thin little stripes. These are going to go on either side of the white stripes on his body. Okay, so that's one of the little details we got to make sure we put in there. So go along your, with the wet paintbrush along the edge of the white, outline it in the black, make it look amazing, and yeah, there you go. I'm not actually lifting him up when I do this. I just wrap it around and kind of tuck it under. As he's going to be flat on the cake, so you're not even going to have to worry about that kind of stuff. Just do make sure you get all the black lined up and pressed up tight to the white. And you can kind of see his tail is flopping over in the back there because it's still soft. For some reason, orange is really soft. I was using a new kind of gum paste, and I got to say I hate it because it was like mush. It was just, it had no firmness left to it once you mixed a color in it and kneaded it a little bit, like the heat of your hands and the moisture from the uh, food coloring, I will never use it again. If you want to know what kind it is, just ask. I'll tell you, but I don't know if I should blast it here right now. Anyway, we put our stripes on. Little black dots for the irises. Jeez, pupils in his eyes. Flatten them out. Don't make them too big, though. He doesn't have a lot of um, 
pupil showing in his eyes. It's just little dots. All right, this is going to be his top fin, his dorsal fin. So I rolled out a circle. There you go. Now I can actually see what we're doing. And I kind of left it kind of messy shape, kind of overly, you can see. And his fin starts at the back of that first white stripe behind his head. It goes straight up, and then it has like a little niche cut out to or indented into it. See, that's what I was doing right there. And then it kind of curves over and tucks under and back around. So just kind of follow the shape I made there. And here's the black I was talking about before. It doesn't quite go all the way around, but for this one, it does mostly. So I'm kind of contradicting myself here. You got the black, you got the white. Hopefully it all stays together. And I'm just putting little marks on the top to again indicate that this is indeed a fish's fin. And here are the lines. Try to make your lines match up with the little grooves you put on top. And his fin has a pretty good angle to it. See the grooves I'm making don't go straight up out of his back. They kind of go angled toward the back. And I'm making lots of little chop, 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 chop ones to fill in between the real big deep grooves. I also did it on the tail. You can't really see it in this video too well though. And then I'm going to go chop, 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 chop. See, I told you. Okay, get that fin in there. There you go. He's got a fin now. And I technically had this wrong when I was looking at his picture. I realized I made the fin a little too big. The spacing of the stripes was a little bit off. So follow the picture of Nemo that you look up for reference and maybe you can do better than me. <laughs> I don't think anybody looked at this and was like, oh my gosh, this is so wrong. But it's one of those things where you do it yourself and it bothers you. So anyway, okay, this is a small circle I cut out. Cut two wedges off the side and a little wedge out the top. His, this is gonna be his little um, injured fin. It basically looks like a mitten. You're making him a mitten hand is really all you're doing. So again, a little bit of edging on the black with the black it goes, I don't know what that little flash was. Hmm, interesting. It goes across the top and then it goes across the top of the thumb, or let's call it, of his little mitten fin. And that's it. So don't make it go all the way around. This is an edible food coloring marker. It's red. I'm doing the vein that shows in his little hurt fin. It kind of just goes straight down wiggly and then V's out to one side only. And for some reason, I am just taking forever to draw that in. I was being very careful. That's what it was. So yeah, here we go. His little hurt fin, a little bit of water, stick it into place. And there you go. Now we're gonna do his other fin. His other fin is really big. All right, that one was very small. This one's gonna be really big. Once again, start out with the orange, roll it out. And again, about a quarter of an inch thick. Make yourself your nice big circle and we're gonna build from here. In order to make the fin, all I did was kind of taper it and smoosh it down as you can see on one end. I didn't really cut it or anything, I don't think. Maybe just to flatten the edge a little bit. Trim it in the black and white, just like his tail fin. Again, it doesn't go all the way around, just mainly around the top. And watch when you put the lines in that you really have it scalloping out. Yeah, scallop shell. That's really what it looks like. So maybe you do your big main lines and then you chop, 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 chop and fill in all those other one, other spaces with the little fine lines. And again, even though you can't really see them here, they do exist. And it looks, it looks good when you can see it in person. <laughs> Trust me. Take my word on it. And I'm taking the edge of the knife and just kind of chop, chop, chopping along the top of the fin there too to rough it up kind of like we did with the dorsal fin. I don't know why we didn't do it with the tail fin. Maybe I just wasn't thinking. So yeah, I paste it to a side, bend it out a little bit. And you see I mentioned his tail was falling over. I used that little circle cutter to hold it up. I was trying to make it look like his fins were kind of moving so he's not perfectly streamlined. That's why they're out and kind of a little twisty is good, but that was a little too saggy. And here you can see I just added two little white dots to give him highlights in his eyes. And you have Nemo. So if you like this, make sure to check out my other videos. I've got other Disney characters and everything. And thanks for watching. Bye.